Hi, welcome to Adventure RV Group here in Napa. Today I want to talk to you about the A-Liner lineup and what they have to offer in the different sizes that they make. You have the Smalls that are the Scout Light and the Ranger 10. You have the Midsize that is the Scout, the Ranger 12, the Classic and the LXE. And you have the Larges that are the Expedition the Family Expedition, and the Evolution. I'm going to kind of hopefully educate you on which size might be right for your tow vehicle and what might fit you the best size-wise. Let's start at the smallest of the A-liners. That's going to be the Scout Light and the Ranger 10. These floor plans are going to give you a 10 foot by six and a half foot living space plus three additional feet for the front tongue, giving you a total length of 13 feet. The weight ranges of these floor plans will be approximately 1,200 pounds to 1,500 pounds. The absolute lightest weight is the Scout Light. The Scout Light, you do have to make some sacrifices to get the weight down to where it is at approximately 1,200 pounds. So you won't see things that you'll get on other units like a propane, furnace, a stove top, the fresh water tank, things like that. But at least it gets you off the ground. It gives you some nice strong walls around you. A comfortable place to wake up is pretty nice. The Ranger 10, which I do have right behind me, it's going to give you the propane systems that you don't get in the lighter weight one. It's going to give you the little tiny 12 volt fridge. It's going to give you the furnace. It's going to give you the stove top for all your cooking and hot and cold water. Also on the Ranger 10, they now allow you to add the dormer as an option. You can go either soft or hard, but it does bring the Ranger 10 up to approximately 14 or 1500 pounds. As you can see on this one, A-Liner does give you a little tag here showing that this is 1497 unloaded. Next, let's bring you to the mid-size models. The mid-size models are the Scout, the Ranger 12, the Classic, and the LXE. They have a 12 and a half foot by six and a half foot living space, plus the additional three feet for the front tongue, giving you a total length of 15 feet total. They're going to, to range from 1,400 pounds to 2,000 pounds approximately. The lightest weight of the mid-size models is the Scout. The Scout is going to be just like its little brother, the Scout Light, in being a more basic trailer. It is going to be a little bit more limited in the options and equipment that you can have on it, but in turn you're getting a really lightweight trailer. The Ranger 12 is kind of the next step up that you could take. The Ranger 12 is going to have a little bit more of the standard features that one might think of on a trailer, like the propane systems. You're gonna get your stove back. You're going to have a 12 volt refrigerator option. And you're going to get things like hot water, dormers, all those kind of fun things. The classic, which we are sitting in, gives you the most options on the midsize models also giving you a secondary floor plan choice. One with a gaucho couch, one with a built-in permanent queen bed. It really gives you a lot to choose from. That also upgrades you to a bigger refrigerator with a freezer and more windows. The next and final piece of the midsize models is the LXE. The LXE equipment is about the same as the classic, Oh, and don't forget the microwave. Both Classic and LXE will have the microwave. But then they throw in a shower, a wet bath, a stall that sets right here where I'm sitting, and that makes it the most equipped unit out of the mid-size models. Finally, we get to the largest of the A-Liner lineup. These are going to be the Expedition, the Family Expedition, and the Evolution. Now, the largest ones are going to be an additional six inches wide, and they have a taller sidewall by four inches. 
The overall dimensions of the living space are 15 feet by seven foot wide, plus the three feet for the hitch, you've got an 18 foot total unit. The weight ranges of the largest models of A-liners ranges from about 2,100 pounds to 2,300 pounds approximately. The first part of the lineup I wanna talk about is the Expedition. Right behind me is the Expedition. You get two floor plans. You can have the permanent queen size bed or the sliding gaucho couch. The Expedition gives you an optional toilet feature inside. It also has the kitchen located on the inside along with a little dinette that converts into the bed. The Family Expedition has the optional toilet inside, but a kitchen that will slide out the front here. Its focus is like its name, the family, you can bring the whole family. It's gonna have sleeping for four adults throughout the inside of the unit. Then you've got the Evolution. It's the newest floor plan in the lineup of A-liners. It's going to have a more rugged look to it. It's got a different color, that darker gray. And it's going to have the rubber, rubberized floor. And everything inside is really water resistant. They've made the cabinets out of different materials that make it so you can be a little bit you know, more adventurous with that trailer. Inside of that trailer, they give you a full-size shower and two queen-size beds. Now that we've gone over all the A-liners in the lineup, I would like to touch on your tow vehicles. Now, keep in mind, don't just take my word for it. Every vehicle is going to have its very own tow capacity. Variations like year, make, model, engine size, and other things can affect your tow capacity. So definitely do some of your own research. But with my research that I've done and customer experiences that I've had, there are a couple tow vehicles that I'd like to mention specifically. First being the Honda CRV. The Honda CRV, cute vehicle, great vehicle, but it does limit you on towing capacity. That's about 1,500 pounds. Good for you. A liner does actually make a trailer that could be suitable for you. You just have to know about where and how to tow safely with those limitations. Another vehicle that I'd like to bring up from personal experience is a Ford Escape. It's a great tow vehicle. If properly equipped, it can tow up to 3,500 pounds, which will make any of these sizes a good tow for you. Also, Subarus. People love their Subarus. I love a good Subaru. They have a wide range. The Forester is going to be roughly about 1,500 pounds. The Outback can tow anywhere from about 1,500, but all the way up to 3,500 if you get the largest of the Outbacks. So you definitely want to do your homework and make sure that you get the right tow vehicle for towing one of these safely. If you have anything larger, people love to tow these with 4Runners, with Toyota Sequoias, with Tacomas, anything like that should tow these properly, but never just trust it. You've got to do some research. These tow down low, they're easy to tow, easy to own. So if you have any questions about your specific tow vehicle, come on down and see us, give us a call. We're here for it. I hope that we've described the A-liners and their weights and capacity that help you make the right decision. Thanks for watching. If you like our videos, please like, subscribe, and we'll still bring you that great content.